how to start and how to progress and how to excel at secondary of MBBS. You might be going towards medicine, surgery, OBG, pediatrics, orthopedics, based on your postings, whatever it's been put in your college, right? That's also very important. The essence of medicine comes from seeing patients. It's like being want to become a cricketer without handling the bat or how to bowl. Ask few difficult history like sexual history, like drinking history, smoking history. This are also important for you. Hello guys, welcome back to PW Meta YouTube channel. Once again, it's me, Dr. Ranjit. And we are going to discuss about the second year of MBBS, how to start and how to progress and how to excel the second year of MBBS. I hope your first year is done. Results came happy. I'm sure you must have looked for the P, P, P in all the three subjects, right? And some of you may be for the distinction honors and welcome back to PW Matter once again. So the second year of MBBS is kind of a change between the preclinical first year to the clinical second. It's a bridge. It's a bridge between the preclinical subject of anatomy, physio, biochem and your clinical medicine of medicine, surgery, OBG, pediatrics and everything, right? So it's one of the very crucial phase. Previously, it used to be one and a half years and it's been kind of restricted and reduced. It's completely fine because we have removed one subject. It's only three subjects now, your pathology, microbiology and pharmacology, right? In this video, I'm going to primarily discuss about how to handle your timing because the most important thing is there's one more element which comes into the second year of MBBS, which is your clinics. You will have entire morning full of clinics. You might be going towards medicine, surgery, OBG, pediatrics, orthopedics, based on your postings, whatever it's been put in your college, right? That's also very important. And in addition to that, we have three subjects of theory, like I said, pathology, microbiology, and your pharmacology, right? It's two things. Sometimes students struggle to manage this, but if you manage, there's a beauty, there's a hidden beauty behind it and why it's kept like this. We have to understand the concept of why it's kept your postings in the morning and your theory in the evening and why it's required for you to learn both and not just only one. Because most of the students feel like that, okay, medicine, surgery, exams, and final year, right? Let me take care of it in final year. That's a very wrong attitude, right? Let's understand. First, what to do and why it's been designed like this and how to excel that, right? First, what to do? Please, please, please do not skip your clinics. That's very, very, very important. Don't go for attendance. Don't just go for just being there. Be involved because the beauty or the essence of medicine comes from seeing patients only. It's like being want to become a cricketer without handling the bat or how to bowl. It's like want to become an influencer but not very comfortable with cameras, right? You can't do that. You cannot become an amazing doctor or any clinician, prepara anything without having the picture of patient into the picture, right? That's very, very important. And that's the only thing which we are here for. And that's the only thing which is going to make our entire life beautiful, right? So the clinics, Please be involved. Go there, be there. It's not that you're going to learn everything about heart attack in second year, or you're going to learn everything about breast cancer in second year, or thyroid cancer, or to learn how to deliver a baby in second year. No, that's not the goal here. When you take clinical medicine, I have history taking, I have the basic examinations, then the diagnosis. The second year is for the basics. How to talk to a patient. Go there, observe, rather than being involved. Observe how your senior is doing. Observe how your professor is doing. How they are greeting how they are asking for consent before examination. These are very, very important soft skills. It will not be available in textbook. It comes with experience. So observe them and learn from them. So you have to be available there. Second, ask history. Because if you read the Hutchison, that's a, one of the beautiful books of clinical medicine. It's written that close to 80% of the diagnosis is made even before touching the patient is via history taking. So it becomes very important, crucial aspect to make a diagnosis, right? And that's what you're going to do in the second year. To learn a history, what all to take in history, how to extract the history, how to ask few difficult history, like sexual history, like drinking history, smoking history. These are also important for you. You have to break the barrier. You have to develop the rapport. This is what you're going to learn in the second year clinics, not to make diagnosis. That's not the goal at all. Don't be sad if you're not able to diagnose an ECG. That's not the goal in second year. You have four years for that entire MBBS. You have MD medicine, DM cardiology to take care of that. The goal in second year clinics is very simple. Go there, sit there, observe and learn how to take history. Maybe a little bit of examination. How to palpate the spleen, how to palpate the liver, how to auscultate, the basics. Not to listen to murmurs, but how to auscultate. That's more important here. In second year, you have to know the normal procedures to be done, normal way of history taking and the exams, the theory part of your pathology, microbiology and pharmacology, right? So, like I said in the start, second year is a bridging thing between your pre and your clinical exam, right? So without knowing a drug, you cannot prescribe a drug. Without knowing what is wrong in the patient, you can't identify that in the medicine or surgery or OG or pediatrics. Without knowing what is the organism and how do I investigate, you cannot do an uh, internal medicine posting, right? So these three are the basic pillars of clinical medicine. So if these pillars are weak, clinical medicine will never be strong. 
So make sure you attend the classes also properly to build the concepts, to build the basics, your medicine, clinical medicine, so that your clinical medicine becomes much more easier. So let's assume, let's take glomerulonephritis. You know about renal physiology, you read about renal pathology, you know the drugs involved. So what you need to learn in medicine is, how do I diagnose, how do I treat, that's all. Let's take thyroid cancer. You know the normal thyroid, you have learned the examination of thyroid in the first half of clinical medicine. There's a clinical posting in second year, the deglutition movement and everything. You know about the thyroid cancers, how to investigate FNAC, how it looks. And in surgery, you need to know that this age group, this extent, what do I do? Do I need radiation, only chemotherapy or only surgery, right? That's what you want to read in surgery. So this year forms the basics of everything. This year is important, very important. And yes, I know it's a bit hectic for you, to attend the clinical posting and to attend the subjects in the your theory class in the afternoon and then to come and sit in the class uh, classes of live lectures and then to revise and read as well right if something is going to be easily available for you that's not worth it if you're going to work hard for it and believe me the moment you achieve it the moment you see the smile on the patient thank you doctor the word that will take care of all the hardships what you went through and trust me that's really 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 worth it right so for second year mbbs just to sum up I have two divisions, clinical postings and the theory part. You need to take care of both. Please don't quit clinical postings. There are quite a few of your seniors might say that it's not required now, but it's fine. Be there. May not be actively involved, but be there. Your presence is very, very important. And then your theory exams as well. I'll take care in another video how to tackle pathology as a subject separately. We'll discuss more together. And I'm very, very excited to teach all the young aspirants because I feel that and I believe that it's my moral responsibility because when I become old, when I become sick, you guys will be treating me, right? A little bit of selfish attitude that you have to be good so that I can have a better treatment, right? So I trust in you. I believe in you. I always keep saying that you guys are much more smarter than us. Let's show you the torchlight. Take the beam and just glow the entire world of medicine and pathology together, right? See you soon. And till then, bye-bye from Dr. Anjit. Please don't forget to comment on the section, right? What's the posting you like the most? And let's see how many of you like medicine, surgery, OG or pediatrics, right? See you soon. Bye-bye.